So the back and forth method is a faster method for balancing chemical reactions. It works best in situations where you have a single displacement. So you can see I've got a solo element right here, and so that's gonna be a single displacement. Or double displacement. You can see I've got a pair or groups, two groups of elements. So I'm gonna go back over to this first situation over here. And the way it works is you wanna basically fix one thing and then you're going to keep fixing the things that are attached so you're going to keep changing and fixing things so if we look i always tell people look for a subscript of two or three and i don't mean like there being a three this is a whole group so this thing has a subscript of one but look for something that has a subscript of two or three and so there we go that's where we're going to start it's the no3 group so right now i've got two on the right and i have one on the left so i fix that situation two so my NO3s are fixed. But because I just put a two in front, now my AGs are off. So I know that I need two AGs, so I jump over here and I put a two right there. I do a last check on my remaining element that I haven't touched. It's all one, so I'm good to go. Let me jump on over to this one over here. And I'm gonna begin again. I'm looking for something that has a two and I immediately see I've got a little two down there. So I'm gonna start with my OH group. On the left, there's two. And if I write water like this, it's really easy to see that there's one on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna put a two on the front because you can only balance with large numbers in the front, the coefficients. And so now we know that my OH group is taken care of and I've got two, but don't forget, I just influenced my H. So I'm gonna go back over here. Here's my matching H. I don't mess with this one because I messed with it as a group. So I'm gonna go back to my H and I put a two in front of my H, so my H is now good. But because I put a two there, now I influence the F. So I'm gonna go over to the side and looks like the F has already fixed itself. And then I double check the last element, the magnesium, looks like it's good to go. And now I'm balanced. So you can kind of see how it's really time consuming to get used to this back and forth kind of method. And like I said, it works the best for single displacements or double displacements. Um, sometimes it's trickier in the case, if you look at this one down here, um, some of these, they, you just have to really practice them and get used to them. But in this case, going back and forth, notice that I've got an O in both groups. So I, it's a little tricky to go back and forth. In this case, I would start with the carbons and I'd bounce the carbons and I would start with the hydrons and I'd bounce the hydrons and then I'd do the oxygen. So for combustions, I wouldn't do the back and forth method.